Hey, what's going on, friends? My podcast every day is broken up into two parts on the free platform. The first part, Act 1, is right now. When it's all done, go right on over to Act 2 to get the second half of the podcast. Thank you so much for checking out my show. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Welcome into the Eric Zane Show podcast. A daily show where I discuss news, nonsense, and my personal adventures from right here in the Impact Power Sports studio. Thank you so much for being here. Impact Power Sports, online at Impact Power Sports. MI.com. I just ran into Drew from uh, Impact Power Sports just yesterday. More on where I was and why I saw him, but it was, uh, it may have been one of my more awkward moments in recent history. And not, not with Drew, but just in general. It was a horribly awkward moment that you're going to love it. I mean, this is a regular thing with me. I see Kevin Kuypers is here. He's uh, he's witnessed this. I think he's here. I thought I saw him. Maybe he's not. I don't know. Um, yeah, me out in the wild. I just, oh, so bad. So, so bad. Uh, I want to make sure before I continue that uh, Joe Martinez is in the chat. Because if he is, um, then I can continue with the next thing that I want to talk about. Because I had a conversation with Joe Martinez via text that you all will be interested in. I know you're like, oh, come on now, don't do it. Because he's been such a pain in the ass about his stupid Michigan team. So I want him to actually be here. Kuypers says that the interactions with me that he witnesses are not bad. They're just funny. Kuypers witnessed one of the um, most legendary moments when uh, we were, well, we've had many moments when we've been together at the racetrack. And like the most recent one, the cars were lined up. There were cars on the racetrack racing, and the next race was getting ready to go off. So the cars line up. Like as soon as the other race finishes, the pace truck comes out, and all these other cars go out for the next race. And we're in the pits just walking around like idiots. And one of the drivers says, hey, easy, easy. And uh, so I have no idea who this is, but I actually do. It's a guy I've known for years named Jim Bond. You know, James Bond. Jim Bond is a, uh, he plays hockey on uh, Andy's team from King's Room Barbershop. I've had many interactions with him. It says, uh, Jim Bond, 007, on the side of the car. I go walking up to the car. Hey, man, how are you? I'm great. I go, who are you? He says, Jim. Like I should know it. I go, oh, hey, man. And then per usual, after 30 seconds of conversation, I've forgotten the name. So then I end it with, what's your name again? Which is my go-to. And he goes, it's me, Jim Bond. He points, he sticks his hand out of the car. He points to the name Jim Bond, 007. I go, oh. Fuck. Actually, no. At the time, I went, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know. And then it dawned on me like half an hour later. Oh, yeah, Jim. God damn it. Corey with a great point. You already sound like your dad. Th that's true. Um, <laughs> You never know, man. Chris says, I like the interactions you talked about yesterday. Hi, stranger. You're gay, aren't you? You guys are gay, right? Yeah. They like thought I was going to give them shit, but I, I didn't. The The one that was really bad was a, you're transgender, aren't you? 
I feel like that was good because I told Maddie that. She goes, Dad. I go, well, then I, I said I told her, was a he, became a her, I love you. You're doing great. Keep your head up. Don't let anybody give you any shit. You have support. You are loved. God bless you. I did all those things. Then I said to Maddie, I go, but, you know, maybe she felt bad because um, I was able to figure out that she is transgender, meaning there's some dude-like appearance to her, but it's clear she's trying to be a woman. She goes, yeah, that's, that's bad, Dad. I go, it is? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I don't know, man. I, 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 I'm trying to normalize this. Okay. Y- you can't fucking, uh, uh, elephant in the room. You, you just can't. Corey says it's not a big deal. Kenny says it is a big deal. Nick in Texas says, Hey, you still have testicles. Don't you? Yeah. Come on now the hell Rebecca said you got to break the ice somehow I'm going to see Maya again this coming weekend and we're you know we all the all the heavy lifting is done it's like hi Maya how are you and then you know what else is interesting because this is like I told you that last weekend's wedding is broken up into two weekends so this was the small one and now the big reception is this weekend at a bigger place cater it's gonna be fantastic so I'm going to bring uh, Pooh Bear, the dogs, Madison, and Madison's boyfriend, Ash. So I go, hey, Maddie, that's good. You, there'll be young people there that are your age and similar sensibilities. Uh, Rebecca's gay, dating a chick, great, a dude that used to be a chick. You're gay as all hell. You're dating uh, a dude that also, wait, a dude that used to be a chick and Becca's dating a chick that used to be a dude. So you guys can go there and talk shop. Uh, different Becca, Becca. Uh, Becca, the photographer is like in her twenties. You're in like your thirties or something like that. What are the odds EZ forgets names at wedding act two? Joe Martinez is here. I'll get to him in a second. We had a conversation this morning. Um, What are the odds EZ forgets names at wedding act two? Well, the ones I have to remember are um, Sarah and Cindy. And I introduced myself to Sarah at this past wedding and I was like in my brain I've met her before this is the lady that I said hey you guys are gay I've met Sarah before and it took about half of the night to realize yeah last Thanksgiving I met Sarah so that's another thing I do is I forget whether I've met people or not All right, let me get to the Joe Martinez thing, and then I'll tell you about the awkward, horrible, horribly awkward interactions I had uh, yesterday. I'll talk to Joe Martinez via text. But by the way, did you guys ever notice that on my right eye, you can see my eyelid, and on my left eye, you cannot see my eyelid? It's like a deformity. God, I'm getting so old. This is so gross. Uh, Before I get to Joe, Corey writes, quote, Oh, where'd you get your penis removed? It looks great. Is that the way they talk shop? Yeah, I don't, I don't think so, Corey. Frankly, I think I'm not doing a great thing by even reading your comments. Megan is here. We have just confirmed 
the date of the great food giveaway. Do not send your money yet. It is Friday, December 20th at Irvine's Auto Repair, Grand Rapids Hybrid and EV. So I texted Joe Martinez. Buddy, are you up for another round of marketing on the Eric Zane Show podcast? I always hate this moment when I have to reach out to people and ask them. One, I'm afraid they'll say no. Now, Joe and I go back nearly six years of doing business. And um, so I was anticipating there would be no problem because we work very well together. It's an excellent relationship. Um, and he wrote this. I mean, let me just go over the exchange here. It's unbelievable. Right now, he's giddy with excitement. Hey, can I send over you an invoice for the next quarter's marketing? Uh, this uh, round is up in mid-October. He writes, you have to go on the podcast and say, I love Michigan, go blue. What an asshole. I sent him eye rolly emojis and I wrote, that is hilarious. He says, are you on now? I said, no, soon. He says, it will piss everyone off. I said, oh, absolutely. It'll be great. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here to make the announcement that I love Michigan. What else do you want me to say? I love Michigan. Go blue. Somebody clip that. Hey, this is Eric Zane saying, I love Michigan football. Go blue. Yeah, if you guys think that I am uh, uh, ready to just uh, take a stand on Joe Martinez like that, you're fucking wrong. Joe pays me a lot of money. Um, I might even give Joe oral if he asks. Fake free beer writes, what a corporate sellout. Yes, that is true. Kuypers says, do it for the show. I'm doing it for more than the show. Fuck. I got a goddamn motor home. Tyler says, we bow to no one except Texas. The new slogan is bet at beat every team except Texas. Tyler or Joe Martinez says, you will see the light after this weekend. You know, in all honesty, um, I'm not uh, an ignorant. I am not as much of an ignorant slut as you think I am. That game, that performance against USC, it doesn't matter um, how you feel personally about that team or those fans. That was huge. The fact that they started strong, USC did something to adjust and started to uh, forcibly bone Michigan right in the butthole, and Michigan uh, pulled that win out. That's uh, not easy to do. And you got to love the fact that USC, this is their first Big Ten game. And, I mean, welcome to the Big Ten. You just got blasted uh, by Michigan on national television. Linda says... 
Megan, make Eric say U of M bends over for everyone when you renew. All right. So basically, uh, all the sponsors are going to make me do shit. All right. Well, I, you know, um, you know, I'm kind of, uh, you know, I, I, I generally can say that I answer to no one, but that's not true. Joe Martinez says, you know, I'd rather lose to Texas than to Boston College. Oh, no. (laughs) Why did you, why did Michigan State have to lose to Boston College of all the teams? You know, come on. Uh, Kevin. In Northern Ontario is here. Uh, I I don't get what he writes. He says, make you do shit. I don't even rinse it. I'm not sure what that that means. Aram says Boston College is a legendary program. I I, I don't think they are. I think outside of like Doug Flutie. I don't I don't think there's been anybody really of prominence that's played for Boston College. Uh Joe Martinez says at least they are a ranked team versus a 110 ranked team. Look, at this stage of the game, ladies and gentlemen, um you got to um point to this. If you're a Michigan fan, you got to point to the scoreboard and say scoreboard I can't with clear conscience, even if Joe didn't make me say, I love Michigan, go blue, so that he'll give me his $2,200 he owes me, uh, that, um, you know, it's true. Michigan is kicking ass right now. That was an incredible victory. Uh, Joe Martinez says Ohio State 60 to nothing against MSU. There's no way that that game is as lopsided as you say it's going to be. All right. Um, Boston College's head coach is New England's offensive coordinator from last year. I don't know who that is. Is that Matt Patricia? Sandy Lyle is here. It looks to be a new name. Um, I think on the YouTube channel, that's where you will see Sandy Lyle's comments. Welcome to you. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Um, My YouTube channel, each episode gets about six views. No one watches it on YouTube, and that's okay. I don't want you watching it on YouTube. I want you watching this, if you want to watch it, that is, on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Eric Zane live. All right. So now that we got that out of the way, I think I've done everything that I was supposed to do. Uh, Joe Martinez said, if you want me to renew, you must say, I love Michigan, go blue. So now I said it. Uh, I don't even know who Michigan plays this week. We might have talked about that already. Oh, Minnesota. It's Minnesota. Oh, so they play at home. They should thoroughly beat the shit out of Minnesota. Corey with a good crack. Someone buy a sponsorship to make him call free beer. All right. Ooh, breaking news. Brett Favre has Parkinson's. Legendary quarterback Brett Favre testified in front of Congress that he was recently diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. According to prepared testimony obtained by front office sports, Favre plans to reveal his diagnosis when he mentions Prevacus 
the now defunct drug company that received about $2 million and counted Favre as its largest individual investor. That's all that is going on right now. I don't have any further update. This just came across my uh, in as a notification. Uh, Becky said, not shocking considering the football career. Um, a lot of times people who get shots to the head develop Parkinson's or um, similar types of maladies under the uh, umbrella of that type of illness. Parkinson's. Uh, pugilistic dementia or um, ALS, perhaps. That's a rough one. Favre, um, if you remember, there's a couple spots that stand out that make you go, huh. There were some uh, accusations that I think are being worked out about him uh, illegally obtaining money from the state of Mississippi. Uh, for something to do with some athletic program, a volleyball facility that his daughter played volleyball for at some college. Uh, Then there was the taking the pictures of his penis and sending them to someone that's not his wife when he was a player for the New York Jets. But probably uh, the biggest thing that, in my opinion is a mark against Brett Favre is the countless times that he rubbed the Detroit Lions noses and shit with another outstanding performance. That fucking dick. Ah, talk about broken heart every year. Brett Favre would just (laughs) right in the shit here. Put your nose in shit, you fucker. Uh, Corey says, I think he's MAGA. Well, you know, like I've said before, uh, I love my audience that are MAGA. Okay. I think they're awesome because I don't have any uh, MAGA supporters who like are racist. At least they better not be or else they're not allowed to listen. Jeremy writes, the first game I remember watching Brett Favre was the Super Bowl between New England and Green Bay. I've hated Favre ever since. Chris says, are you calling Favre a listener? LOL. Wouldn't that be something? Uh, All right. So that's uh, interesting. I, I mean, God knows what the outlook is on that. My dad, um, he, uh, with his dementia, he has gotten to a point now where, like I was telling you on that, um, podcast yesterday, when I, I got face to face with him and he goes, you are my son. Oh, I'm like, thank God. He's not forgotten about me. And then I'll see him again this weekend. So that's good. But, uh, I had a conversation with charity scam, Mike, um, I might have talked about this yesterday. I don't know. Sometimes I forget what I talk about. And uh, because he gets, he starts to get annoyed. And, um, and I actually had to say, hey, um, because Mike actually says, you have dementia and tells him he has dementia. And I go, okay. I mean, I get what you're doing. You're kind of like being up front with him. But um, he's going to forget that. And for the time that you tell him in that window where he has the clarity, in the seconds before, like surrounding your words to him, that could put him in distress. I mean, imagine that. If your life is repeatedly hearing the same bad news over and over again. You know, dementia is a pretty... uh, pretty raw thing to say that you have. I go, I think you're both better suited to just kick that can down the road. Just, Oh, I mean, play it off. I mean, smile on your face, nothing but patience. 
sweep it under the rug. He doesn't need to know anything. Just keep him smiling, happy, have a nice conversation, help him through it. But don't lose your patience. Don't say anything to him. Just if he starts to get antsy, calm him. If he starts to get happy, facilitate that. But I mean, come on now, a 90 year old man and you're, you gotta, you gotta focus here. You gotta keep your head in the game. Just got a text from Joe Martinez. He's very happy with his work. He writes, Linda is mad. Well, look, why don't you stop trying to make her mad? You know, I mean, she is a, uh, a fire plug. All right. And, um, if you, if you're just going out of your way, trying to make my beloved pal, Linda mad, I don't know if I can support that endeavor, Joe. Why don't you try to be sweet to Linda instead of always trying to annoy her? God damn it. See what you did? Now she writes this. I'm cleaning. Jesus. I don't read every comment. It's certainly not yours. All right. So, Joe, you just got to give her a break. Yeah, she doesn't read every comment, ding dong. And she's having a rough time. Michigan State lost. She's pissed off about that. Why do you always have to poke the bear? I mean, this is a bear you don't want to poke. God damn it. All right. Uh, The open and live stream of the show is brought to you by Impact Power Sports, Impact Power Sports, MI.com. They sponsor the studio. They sponsor a lot of stuff. They're awesome. Go there and buy an ATV, UTV, side-by-side motorcycle. You can even buy a snowmobile if that's your fancy. They've got stuff that's fun. Ladies and gentlemen, your old pal EZ with a few words about my latest and greatest partner, Prize Picks, America's number one daily fantasy sports app with over 5 million active members. My goodness. Prize Picks, what I love is the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. And all you do is pick more or less on two to six player stat projections and watch the winnings roll in. Check this out. One, one. Caleb Williams passing yard gets you one win on prize picks every week in the month of September. That's right. Only one yard gets you an automatic win every football weekend in September. Four weeks of free W's. Don't miss this deal on prize picks because it's gone when September ends. Now, you can win up to 100 times your money on prize picks with as little as four correct picks. Also, good news prize picks is the best way to get action on sports in most states, including California, Texas, and Georgia. Prize picks is the only real money daily fantasy platform with an injury insurance policy so that your lineups stay in play even if one of your players gets injured. If your player leaves in the first half and doesn't return, your picks are still alive. How about this for a lineup? Tyreek Hill for more than 90 receiving yards. Dak Prescott for more than 263 passing yards. Josh Allen for less than 240 passing yards. And CeeDee Lamb for more than 96 receiving yards. Then you watch. You root. You have fun. Download the Prize Picks app today and use code Eric Zane and get $50 instantly when you play five dollars that's code eric zane of course on prize picks to get fifty dollars instantly when you play five dollars you don't even need to win to receive the fifty dollar bonus it's guaranteed prize picks run your game hey it's eric zane here to tell you about my new favorite marketing partner mint mobile for the longest time we've been paying way too much for our cell phone service our plans whatever it is mobile device, whatever you want to call it. 
Every so often, they like put the screws to you just a little bit at a time. You don't even notice. Next thing you know, you check out the bill. You're like, wait a minute. This is not what I decided to pay for. What has happened? Okay, forget all of that. Uh, You can skip it all right now. Everything is about to change for you. Mint Mobile is the key. With Mint Mobile, you'll never, never have to worry about gotchas ever again. That's what I'm talking about, where they slowly raise your prices that you pay. When Mint Mobile says $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan, they mean it. Say goodbye to your overpriced wireless plans, jaw-dropping monthly bills, and unexpected overages. Mint Mobile is premium wireless plans starting at just $15 a month. All the plans come with high-speed data and unlimited talk and text delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. You're like, EZ, tell me more. This is all you do. I did this. All my family has done this, and you should too. To get the new customer offer and your new three-month premium wireless plan for just $15 a month, go to mintmobile.com slash Zane. That's good anywhere. Mintmobile.com slash Zane. Cut your wireless bill from whatever ridiculous amount that you're paying each month to $15 a month. Mintmobile.com slash Zane. Pay attention to this legalese. $45 upfront payment. That is equivalent to the $15 a month for three months. New customers on first three month plan only. Speeds slower, 40 gigs on unlimited plan. Don't even worry about that. I I, I use that and it's, it's no big deal. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. Impact Power Sports, online at impactpowersportsmi.com in Rockford, Michigan, um, right along 14 Mile Road. Got to see Drew yesterday. It was good to see him. And uh, good to see his wife. That was who I had the um, awkward conversation with. Now, let me just tell you this. Every time I have seen Drew... And his lovely better half, Mary Lou. Um, It's been like at a function. Outdoor show, camper show, uh, stuff like that. She comes walking up and she's with Drew. I go, hey, Drew, what's up, buddy? How are you? And his wife is is uh, with him, and I've met her many times. I've met their son. He's awesome. And um, Nick in Houston says, did you ask her if she was transgender? No, I did not ask her if she was transgender, God damn it. But, I mean, I've talked to her many, many times. I said, um, hey, how are you? I'm Eric. And she looks at me like this, and I go, Oh, fuck. I know I know her, but I don't remember the name. And I go, oh, God, I'm sorry. And then I notice her hair is up. So I use, that was my out. I go, oh, uh, your hair's up. I, you know, I didn't recognize you. And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, God. It's so, this is right out of the gate. Right out of the gate. I immediately text Kathy, who works over there. I go, Kathy, what's Drew's wife's name? She texts me Mary Lou. And I'm like, yeah, of course, Mary Lou. I'm like, what? why Why am I texting it now? I'm not going to. Because I, I think my theory is I'm going to go and um, then I'm going to go back and say, so uh, how are you, Mary Lou? But I didn't have another opportunity to do that because I didn't see her later on. However, that um, method comes into play later on in the day. I have two, maybe three more gigantically more awkward moments to get to. So you must stay with me. So if you're watching the show on Facebook or YouTube, I'm about to kick you out. You have to go to twitch.tv slash Eric Zane live. 
to hear these next two absurd moments that took place. Uh, this all happened at um, North Kent Golf Course in Rockford, Michigan for the Grand Rapids Gold annual golf outing. I'm going to MC it and help give away all the raffle prizes. That was my job. All right. I'll get to that in a second. Everybody on Facebook and YouTube, I'm kicking you out. Go to twitch.tv slash Eric Zane live. If you want the rest of the show, you can also download the audio podcast wherever you download shows. I prefer Apple podcasts. Please subscribe, rate, and review. And then my Patreon. This Thursday, we've got a big fraud Thursday. We'll do who are these free beers right around 6 p.m. Eastern time and follow it up with another edition of the Ben and Eric Patreon podcast featuring one minute of Ben Glaze's Bombity podcast. Um, on this week's uh, Who Are These Free Beers, which basically we're reviewing this week's episodes and focusing on the roastable portions of it. Now, not everything on the Free Beer and Hot Wings show is roastable, but a good portion of it. Uh, I am going to be focusing on some gigantic laughs by our old pal Freebeer for moments that really don't require gigantic laughs. Greg is in this mode these days where if anybody says anything, oh my God, I don't know if there's some gummies being consumed or what, but this fucker is in the best fucking mood. I want some of what he's enjoying because he laughs his cock off at everything. Holy shit, is he zany. He is wacky beyond belief. He's He could be described as zany and wacky. He could be uh, the ringleader in the chuckle hut. That's what it is. He is in charge of a chuckle hut is free beer. And I'm going to prove that to you on Thursday with some over-the-top belly laughs for shit that I don't even understand what is happening. I don't get the joke. It might be great. I don't know. Holy fuck, does he laugh his cock off? Son of a bitch. You can enjoy Big Fraud Thursday for free when you go to P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash Eric Zane. Patreon dot com slash Eric Zane. Uh, Aram says Freebird sounds like Jabba the Hutt when he laughs. To me, we always described it as the Ricky Ricardo laugh because when Greg gets loud, he, gah, 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 he does that. Like if you ever hear Greg's football calls, like when there's a big play, um, his voice goes into this um, Muppet type of range. All right. And he does that when he laughs and he does that when he's doing a football call. And down the sidelines he goes. Touchdown, Alabama. Ugh. Bob writes today on their big show, the contestant for the minute of mayhem, which is some contest was a bartender. And Freebear asked if his new favorite drink, espresso martini, is a douche drink. And answered with a hesitation and oh, um, well. What is a uh, espresso martini? I don't know. Who knows? Uh, yeah, um, Aram says that laugh is a Muppet's laugh. He also laughs like Jabba the Hutt. Doesn't Jabba go, oh, 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 oh. So he does two laughs. So when he does the Jabba laugh, that's when he's just going, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's Jabba. So he does Jabba and then Muppet. So he's got two laughs is what you're saying. I think when he's really laughing, He's Muppet, but when he's doing the courtesy laugh, he's going, oh, 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 oh. 
Bildet il talte solo. <laughs> That's the scene. A little creature on the chain. Um, all right. Surprise, his favorite drink isn't juicy juice with his chicken nuggets for dinner. Oh, my God. How much does Greg make during those football games? Um, $200. This I know. Greg will uh, leave on Friday morning. Wait all day at the airport, fly out, land, and then Saturday morning, do the football game, so all day affair, come home to the hotel, and then take off Sunday morning. He does all of that travel, and he makes $200 a game, uh, which is remarkable because... That's what I make to do a Griffins game. Actually, I take it back. Griffins and the gold. Um, I, I reached out to the gold and I said, look, um, I need a raise. I was making 150 bucks. I need $200 a game. And they go, all right, sit tight. I get a call back. We've approved the amount, but we want you making more from us than the Griffins. So your pay per game now is $201. They actually did that. There's that much of a rivalry, I guess. Uh, Corey says, does he pay for his own travel? Uh, I don't know. All I know is that he makes $200 a game, which is embarrassingly low. Rich says, Freebear had a bummer joke this morning on the flashback where he tried to refer to chickpeas as dude peas. Yeah, that's rough. If you ever hear something worth pulling, by all means, send it my way. Uh, Corey says, how is he only making $200 a game? It's because he loves the ego stroking. He's always wanted, before he, before he started doing a morning show, he wanted to be a play-by-play -play announcer. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's what this is. That is uh, ego keeping him doing, and that's the same amount. At least that's what he made when I work with him. Maybe it's gone up. But for all of that time, he should be making $2,000 a game, minimum. All right. Have I kicked everybody out yet? I think I did. I guess I don't know. No, I haven't. There you go. I'm kicking you out now. Uh, I Before I get into this ridiculous awkwardness that happened yesterday, I, uh, I need to um, talk about some more of my amazing sponsors, including uh, Joe Martinez, A&E Heating and Cooling. Joe, do you want me to just from now on say A and E heating and cooling says go blue? Is that what you want me to do? You know, I mean, I've, I've, I've talked a big game, but at the end of the day, um, I, I, if you tell me to jump, I'm going to say how high. All right. So, uh, I will say ladies and gentlemen, A and E heating and cooling reminds you, uh, to go blue. And uh, we bow for no one. Uh, thank you, A&E Heating and Cooling, for sponsoring this show for as long as you have. Chris says, does this mean in times of conflict you'll go to gold? You'll go to the gold now cause of, because of the cold, hard cash. I hope not. I hope there's no conflict. Linda says, I may stop listening if you do that. Oh, no. Come on. You're so hyper. You've got to learn to smile a little bit. Okay? I mean, 
I don't have a problem with you liking Michigan State and, and all those women got raped. You dumbass. I mean, let's be honest here. At the end of the day, all Michigan did was uh, win the national championship by cheating. Give me a break. Uh, Corey says, how is he only making $200 a game and sticking his wife with six kids or some shit? Yeah, I don't know. That's why he, uh, I don't know. That's part of what uh, I'm sure Mrs. Uh, the former Mrs. Freebury was like, God damn it. I'm out of here. I'm tired of you leaving for four fucking days for $200. Linda talks about the doctor at Michigan that assaulted young men. Um, what was his name again? Dr. Anderson. Yeah, that's true. Uh, well, at least the allegation is true. I don't think that story, though, has been as substantiated as the Nasser thing. I mean, I believe it. But also, Dr. Anderson, that was decades ago. Nasser, I mean, he probably still has kid smell on his fingers. So come on now. Anyway, uh, Joe Martinez is here. And um, A&E Heating and Cooling, that's who you call, unless your name is Linda, uh, to take advantage of the free furnace tune-up and diagnostic test. Now, a furnace tune-up is $79. If you add in the diagnostic test, it's $145. I recommend that at least uh, once. All right. Now, the tune-up, I want you to do that every year. Joe Martinez has a deal right now because DTE reached out to him where he's offering that all for free. The tune-up and the diagnostic test to anyone in West Michigan, as long as you haven't taken advantage of this through Joe in the last two years. There's only one HVAC company in West Michigan. All right. Um who is offering this, and that's Joe Martinez. Chris Denham says, calling audience members hyper while we're on like five minutes of trying to get through this ad. Well, that happens. That's how I roll. And just shush. Thank you, Joe. Call him 616-516-8579. The IT support company for the Eric Zane Show podcast is Blue Frost IT. You can get all the same type of assistance that I get whenever I get in the weeds by reaching out to them. Uh Uh-oh, dog fart. Oh, no. Come on, man. 616-285-50. 616-285-50. Okay. Awkward moment number two at the Grand Rapids Gold Golf Outing. First, I interact with Drew. I forget that who I'm talking. It's his wife. And I'm like, oh, who are you? Oh, God damn it. Then I don't remember her name. And I'm like, all right, I text Kathy, the assistant. So what's Drew's wife's name? Mary Lou. I'm like, oh, shit. God damn it. I'm like, well, you know, in case I see her again, I'll then work the name in. Uh, these are out of order. The next awkward moment I want to discuss is I tried that same method with Steve McCarthy. He is the president of the West Michigan Whitecaps. He comes walking up to me. He goes, easy. I go, hey, guy, what up, chief? How are you? He goes, good to see you, easy. I go, thanks, man. Yeah. So how you been, guy? He goes, ah, doing okay. Doing okay. Uh, You you still uh, doing the podcast? Yeah, man. Yeah, of course. So great. How are things with the white caps? That much I knew. He goes, oh boy, we had a fantastic year. I go, I bet, you know, I mean, you guys are just killing it. I have no idea. I'm like, yeah, man, I bet. Yeah, you're doing cool, man. Hey, well, guy, chief, it is good to see you. I am, this is great. Now in my brain, I'm like, I know this dude. And he's like, handshake. He's all about it. He's really sweet. Nicest guy in the world. 
comes walking away, and I lean over to my guy next to me. I go, who the fuck is that? He goes, I don't know. I go, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. And he's getting ready to eat his dinner. You know, after the golf outing, they have dinner. It's served. And I go, um, okay. Well, uh, then it hits me. I go, that's Jim Jarecki. So I've got an opportunity to work the name in when I see him again. This is what I wanted to do with Mary Lou. Now, if I see Mary Lou again, I'm going to go, Mary Lou, how, how have you been? On, you know, just to like convince her that I know her name. But even that doesn't work. You're better off just avoid. Steve McCarthy comes walking by again. And I go, Jim Jarecki. Jim Jarecki. And I'm about to say, how are you? And he turns and looks at me because he knows that name. But that's not his name. He goes, oh, Jim. uh, He's over there. No, I'm like. I go, yeah, I'm going to check him out. Hey, hey, Jim. Ha ha. Yeah. What the fuck is going on here? So I still don't know that that's Steve McCarthy. I go to the Whitecaps website and I look it up and I say, okay, that first dude is Steve McCarthy. Son of a bitch. Jarecki also there. He's the GM. I don't know, man. You all have made the comment, you know, maybe this is... I even said to Phil over with the uh, Grand Rapids Golden Buddy, you're witnessing something that people have seen many times. This is how I, I come unglued in these moments. I don't remember a name. And then um, the guy who's running the tournament, the scorekeeper, I go, hey, um, I'm looking for Nick. Now, what the fuck is his name again? Nick. um, He runs North Kent Golf Course. Nick. uh, Shit. I see. And he points him out to me. And I'm like, well, that's not who I thought Nick was. I got to say hello to the guy because he he owns a partial stake in the Grand Rapids Gold. And it's his golf course. I want to say hi to him. I don't even know who the fuck people are. It's so bad. My God. Um, what the fuck is his name again? Hang on a second here. Let me get Phil in from the uh, Grand Rapids Gold. Now, Phil, I've had him on before. He is a expert on running basketball teams. And uh, he's my guy who sits next to me at the basketball games and helps me remember names. He is the uh, director of off-court entertainment. He witnessed all this shit. So I need to bring him in. Watch your ears. Uh, Jeremy says, I'm surprised you've never called out the wrong name. Well, hello. Hey, Phil, I'm podcasting. Hey, how you doing? I'm well, buddy. I, I wanted to go over a couple things with you. Okay. Um, did you notice that I seemed a little out of it and like asking you a lot of questions about people? Um, I didn't think it was weird by any means. I- it's normal. <laughs> it's normal. Yeah. Like I, like you putting your foot in your mouth. Yeah, I was. And I'm going to get to that story. I, I was just about to tell that one. I haven't told that story yet. <laughs> that, that, that was a big one. That was a big one. But did you see the interactions with Steve McCarthy of the Whitecaps? Yes, I did. Okay. Now I was just telling them about that. How I had no idea who the fuck he was. And, <laughs> and then I said another name, Jim Jarecki. And yep. that was even worse. I mean, this is such a problem with me. And, um, yeah, because I, I couldn't remember Job's name. I couldn't remember Adam's name. Oh, that's okay. It's, it's been a long summer, right? Yeah, I know. But I see these people, so many dates, uh, I mean, several dates at the arena every every year. Right. 
Right. Well, I, I will say on the uh, the Jarecki uh, McCarthy, I watched the whole thing unfold, and you you caught it well. As soon as you realized that you that you had the wrong guy, you made it. You transitioned it to appear completely normal. <laughs> It was you were very quick on your feet. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. Um, all right. All in all, though, I thought that that was a good event. Everybody had a great time. Yeah, it was fantastic. You know, it was, uh, we I got we got the number earlier today. Um, we raised over forty one thousand dollars. And uh, Gold Charities is um, the organization that spits that money out for those in need. So that's that's yep. wonderful. Yep. Um. Rebecca says that I need to make flashcards with pictures and names and have my wife test me on them. <laughs> like like uh, Chris Farley yeah. and Billy Madison. Um, all right. I am excited for the basketball season. You guys are a great group over there. You know you're my favorite. I told everybody about the um, uh, $1 more than um, financial <laughs> transaction between EZ and the gold. <laughs> yeah yep all right yep very we good. just wanted to make sure that that we were uh we were paying you you are uh, yeah the best in uh in west michigan yes so. you are that you are the highest bidder i appreciate that <laughs> no problem <laughs> all right buddy i'll talk to you all right and go gold we'll talk to you okay yeah we'll see you, see you. Bye. there you go that is uh phil cronin he is uh one of my favorite people on the planet i'll just say that uh, Tyler says it could have been worse. At least you didn't completely forget who the white caps president was and walk up to him and say, Hey, you're transgender. Aren't you? However, I'm saving the best for last. I can't do that Oops. What the fuck? I have a tendency to just shit just flies out of my mouth. Case in point. Hey, you're transgender. Aren't you? I come walking up to North Kent. Uh, and the owner of the team, Steve Jabara, is there. He's standing. Next to him is a guy that I think I know. Couldn't tell you. Actually, I don't remember actually seeing him ever. But I'm sure I've talked to him and met him. Uh, there was an introduction. His name is Scott. Now, Scott is seated, and he's got his, his leg out, and there's like a a, a wrap around his knee, lo, uh, just below the knee. And there looks to be like some kind of contraption on the knee. All right? Hey, Steve. Hey, how are you? Steve Jabara. Good, good to see you. Hey, buddy. Awesome. Great. I look at the guy next to him. I go, what the hell happened to you? Now I'm thinking sprain my knee, uh, fell down the steps. Maybe Uh football injury. That's what I thought. That's not what I got though. What I got was I had a stroke. Oh, fuck. So I go, ah, shit. Just like that, I go, ah, shit. I am so sorry, man. But then I couldn't help myself. I go, what does that thing do? And I guess this thing kind of like uh, stimulates his muscle to help him walk. I go, well, yeah, so... How's it going? Now, now I want it. Now I'm interested. I go, well, yeah. How's it going? Tell, tell me. I mean, what's that? Well, I can walk now. And I go, so what's the doc say? What's, what's the ultimate prognosis? You think you're going to pull out of this? All right. That is act one of the podcast. Act two is available right after this one. Go check it out. What are you doing? Don't miss a second of it. Thank you so much.